Okay, in this video, we're going to use the lasso tool to make a selection. We're going to jump that selection to a new layer, and then we're going to add a new background. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the lasso tool. Um, a lot of people will default to the magnetic lasso tool, but it is not the best tool in the world. Uh, it leaves rough edges, so we're going to go with the lasso tool. One of the things that you can do, and option is just a magic key that does so many different things. Using the option and using your scroll wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and out. So we're going to zoom in a little bit so that we can get it nice and close. Once we click, I'm going to hold the option key down again. And what that does, when I let off my mouse button, it gives me a straight line for my selection. If I hold the mouse button down, I can go around corners and curves, but if I have a straight area, I can just grab the straight and it's just real simple and we're going to come around and this is just going to be a rough selection. I would take my time, but um, for the purposes of this demonstration, you know, make it quicker. So again, if I have straight lines, I just let off the mouse, go down and click to move down below. I just push my mouse down until it gets here to go around corners or curves. I can hold it down and get that curve or as close as I am, sometimes the human eye can't see subtle variations. So I can just keep moving it down and around. Again, I'm clicking some straight clicks. Uh, if I curve, I hold down the mouse button, let up, straight, and so on and so forth. Again, we're just going to do a quick rough selection. I can zoom out holding the option key and we'll just keep going around. And all I'm doing is literally just clicking and releasing. And if I want to do a curve, I hold the mouse button down. So let me finish this. Go down around his arm. Come up. See, I can get the whole thing just by going outside the boundaries and around. I'm going to cut off a little appendage here, but that's okay. Come up, a little bit of round, a little straight line, a little curve. Again, to get the curve, hold down the mouse button. And notice the cursor changes. When it's here, it looks like the polygonal, and it allows me to do straight lines. When I hold the mouse button down, it changes to the lasso tool. So we'll come around, coming up. I'm going to cut off the twig just to save some time, but normally I would go around this twig. So, but save time for the video, we'll just go like this. Come in and around. Again, I would normally take the time to go around the twig. Come up. Grab a little group, and I'll show you how to fix these little areas in a second. And there. All right. So, over here, and I did this on purpose, I kind of messed up, and I want to show you how to do this. So I know that I want to take away that portion. So if I hold the Option key down before I click, notice it changes to a minus. And with that, I can click and just erase that part. Here, I need to add a little bit more. So here's the plus. Holding the Shift key down gives me the plus, and I can come in here, and I can add this into it. Now, that area is a little rough, so I'm going to come in here and use the minus and come back around. So if I need to add to it, I can use the plus key and I can clean it up. Minus key takes it away. Plus key adds to it. So I've added my selection. All right, so if you look over here, you've got the background layer. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to command group to jump to a new layer. And to do that, we hit Command J. And notice now I have two layers. One is the background, one is layer one. I can rename this layer grouped. And then I can hide the background layer by clicking on this eyeball. And now grouped is on a checkerboard. And that checkerboard symbolizes the fact that it is transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a tab in Google and I'm going to search, oh, I don't know, an alien planet. Let's look for an alien planet to put Groot on. I'm going to go to images and I'm going to, ooh, that's pretty. So I'm going to click on it and wait. 
this comes up and I'm going to view the image and I have a nice big image here that I can use right click copy that image take it back over and command V will paste there's no right click for pasting command V will paste and you may get a dialog box like this that's okay just click OK now the photo is in front of group so what I want to do is I want to grab my layer and I'm going to name this alien planet and spell it right there we go and then I'm going to move it below Groot so see it moved it behind Groot in the background using command T and holding the shift key down and grabbing a corner I can proportionally scale it and the new Photoshop is pretty good about scaling stuff and leaving it in so I can use my scroll wheel to zoom up and down and again grab a corner and just keep doing it till it's about the same size spacebar gives me the hand icon and allows me to move back so I'm going to adjust this oh that looks cool right there I'm going to hit return to lock it in place and there you have grouped moved from a standard picture and now he is on an alien background